Hi guys, my name is Shane and welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to be tackling or answering one of the most common questions that I get um, on my nursing videos, which is, should I work during study or have you worked or did you work while you were studying for the NCLEX? So stay tuned um, as I share with you what I, in my opinion, is and what worked for me when reviewing for the NCLEX. Okay, so when you graduate from nursing school, you apply and you get your ATT and you get your eligibility from the Board of Nursing. It's time for you to, to decide what you're going to do next. So after choosing the right study or review course for you, now comes the endless moments of studying and studying and studying. Now, depending on the type of person you are will really depend and really determine how you will study for the NCLEX. Personally, you need to get your goals straight. When do you want to take your NCLEX? How long do you want to study? And of course, our goal is to pass it the first time, right? Should I work while studying for the NCLEX? The first thing you have to determine is if you have to work or not necessarily have to work what i mean is when you have to work that means you have a family that you need to provide for or you are literally on your own you have no support from your parents or from any family members and you are on your own and you have to work yes my answer to that is yes you can and you should work because you know you have to pay bills you have to put food on the table answer to the question uh, i mean should i work while reviewing yes is it gonna be easy? No, it's not gonna be easy <laughs> because your time will be divided and you really have to plan out how many hours a day that you will dedicate to working. My suggestion is if you are working, try to do it part-time. I mean, full-time, it's gonna be hard because eight hours or eight to 10 hours a day, then you have to factor in, you know, rest. You have to take some time when you get home, unwind, and then you have to cook dinner, and then whatever night routine or morning routine you have to do, you have to factor that in. And so, how much time um, do you have to actually sit down and study? And remember, you have to dedicate a set time for the end clicks. You can't just be like, oh, I feel like studying, okay, this, no. If you plan on taking the NCLEX and passing the first time, you need to really knuckle down and set a specific time so that you can focus on the NCLEX. Now, the other side of the working is geared towards new graduates who are single, who have no kids, who are not married, or live under their parents' houses, or under their roof, um, who's not yet stable, financially stable yet. So, for that question of should I work while studying for the NCLEX, if I am a single, you know, new grad, my answer would be no. That time that you have after you graduate or whenever you receive your ATT, use that time, however time that is, two months, eight weeks, six weeks, to study, you know? Use that time period to really knuckle down and just master those topics that you are weak in. One of the biggest challenges of self-studying if you aren't working is lacking motivation. It's really hard to stay motivated if you're the only one studying, especially if you don't do well with study groups or with a friend. During the whole course of studying, you get bored, you lose motivation, you get tired and you make all these excuses and you take longer breaks than you should and you basically just get unmotivated. You know, the one thing I can do is how to stay motivated is to remember why you took nurse nursing what got you through nursing school and so while you're reviewing you're almost there you just need one more leg and you're done you know so whatever whenever you lose motivation remember why you did nursing in the first place that's what helped me get through that another challenge you'll have is that you'll get burnt out of course so you need to really balance your life even though you will not be working you still have to factor in like exercise what time you're waking up in the morning, um, 
if, if you have like errands to do, factor that in into your day. So you should create a schedule. How long am I going to study and for what period, what time I should eat lunch and dinner so that your day is not going to waste and you're not just studying and then your break, you study for like 30 minutes and then your break is like two hours, <laughs> you know. My, that's my suggestion. Um, make a schedule and, you know, really balance it out. Um, there will be temptations where like, oh, I could be working, like, oh, what I'm not doing anything for half of my day, I should work. That is a, a challenge, you know, but remember that that time that you have free, it's time that you could rest, you know, your brain needs rest too. Uh, mentally, your brain needs to rest. So remember that your body needs you also. Although the mind is willing, the flesh is weak. Meaning to say, um, sometimes our willpower could be stronger than what we can physically do. So remember to also listen to your body. If your body's saying, hey, I need some rest. Hey, I need some water. Something simple like that. Listen to it. It'll do you good. Your scores will get higher and you'll get more confident. I hope that answers your question. Um, if you have any more questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Like, if you want to know, like, what was my study schedule? How did it look? or like anything else please leave it down below and i'll do my best to answer them in these videos uh, thanks for watching guys god bless and i'm praying for you